to go in now. So there we go. Okay. So that's what we're going to work on is we want some calories in the morning. We want protein and fats. Fats are slow digesting. If we have slow activity, that's what we want. Then at lunch, you're going to do protein and complex carbohydrates. Start filling that gas tank, okay, with those carbohydrates. Then mid-afternoon, we want more protein, more complex hydrates. We're going to, again, fill up, top off that gas tank. Then during the workout, you do any kind of intermittent or uh, like um, intra-workout drink if you feel like your activity is drawn out. So if you're working out for longer than an hour, then you might want to actually consume some calories while you're working out. If you're not, I would say don't worry about it. If you had good morning meal to where you weren't in a huge deficit, you had a good lunch and a good afternoon, you're probably going in there with a full gas tank. You might not even need an intra-workout drink. Okay? Then post-workout, proteins and fats. You don't need carbs. If you're worried about replenishing glycogen, you will replenish that at the next day's lunch and mid-afternoon by having complex carbohydrates. So at night, you just want the protein and the fat. So the fat helps the protein be slower digesting, so it milks it out throughout the night, and you get more of a growth effect. So you get more adaptation, more progressions from your training by having a slower digestion of protein. Okay. So this is what they would want to do. Listen to podcast 153 to find out the total calories that they need for their proper day. Okay. Then they want to have a reduction of that, like calories that they need per day to maintain themselves. They're going to do a reduction of 5 to 10%. But they're going to skew their calories to match their activity level. So that is podcast 249 that discusses meal timing to find out what nutrients I need at what part of the day, when should I have calories compared to when I'm active. So 153 tells them how many calories they should have. They're going to do a reduction of 5 to 10% if they want to lose weight, lose body fat. Podcast 249 tells you how should I spread my calories out throughout the day now that I know how many calories I should have. And then podcast 33 tells us how much protein we should have per day. So that's what you need to know. The protein is kind of spread throughout the day pretty equally because you need protein equally throughout the day. Your total calories of fats and carbs are going to be decided by podcast 249 with which should I have, carbs or fats. 153 tells you how many you should have. And then 249 also tells you where should I have them. So you're going to combine the knowledge of podcast 153, podcast 33, and podcast 249. If you combine all of that, that'll tell you what I've told you so far, is that you should have calories when you're up and active throughout the day, even if you're sedentary, because your BMR is 60%, your normal everyday activity is 80%. So you're still burning calories, you still need calories. But you're going to focus on protein and fats. Lunch is protein and carbo complex carbohydrates. Mid-afternoon is protein and complex carbohydrates. In your workout, I would first try to do the workout without an intra-workout drink. If it feels like your energy is dying towards the latter half of the workout, then add a little bit of sugars in there, okay? Drink maybe 100, 200 calories worth of sugars after you go through the workout. That will give you energy to get to the end. Then at the end of the day, have a big meal of protein and fats, okay? That will help you heal up, help you recover, help you make all the progress you want to make. So, for people who live sedentary lifestyles with physical activity at night, how should you eat? Number one, if you're up, eat. So if you're awake, eat food, okay? But if it's low activity, eat proteins and fats and eat a lower caloric amount compared to the caloric amount of the meals when you're more active. So skew your calories to match your activity curve. So if somebody's super active in the morning, they want more of their calories in the morning and less at night. If somebody's active midday, maybe they work out midday, they want more of their calories in the midday. If somebody works out in the evening, they want more of their calories in the evening, but not all of the calories in the evening. So that's what we want to do. So if you're up, eat. If you're low activity, still eat, but eat proteins and fats and eat a lower amount of calories. Skew your calorie curve to match your activity curve. If you're trying to lose body fat, make that calorie curve just 5 or 10% less than your activity curve. If you're trying to gain size but not wanting too much fat, make your activity curve 5 to 10% above. The I mean, your calorie curve, 5%, 5 to 10% above your caloric Good God, I'm losing my mind here. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay. Whew, good. So if you want to build muscle size but not build a lot of fat with it, okay, you want your caloric curve to be 5 to 10% above your activity curve. Woo, I got through it. Yay. <laughs> okay. So I hope I didn't just ruin everybody and get everybody confused there. So that's what we're doing. So I love, 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 love when we get feedback like this because what it's a chance to do is to see – 
We have good standard basic rules of nutrition. But how you apply them per person does get different. It does change things a little bit. The, the, the basics don't change. It's just how you apply them changes. So it's fun to do this. And um, I enjoy it. So hopefully this is kind of fun for people. And I think it's cool to learn that there are general truths. So podcast number 41, we talked about before, called Diet Right, What Matters Most. It tells us calories are the most important, protein is the most important, meal timing is the next most important, and then macronutrient, micronutrient kind of quality stuff is less next important. That's true of anybody, regardless of what your goals are. Okay? Our meal timing aspect, eat more when you move more, eat less when you move less. That's true of anybody, regardless of your goals. So there's a lot of just general truths. But then how do we apply them to the specifics? That does become the challenge. That's why I have a job. <laughs> okay? So that's why people pay me for nutrition plans. Because applying the, the, the general truth to specific situations does get a little bit fuzzy sometimes. Okay? So hopefully podcasts like this help to make it less fuzzy. <laughs> and you can start to kind of reorganize your day to better match what's going, what your goals are. So my hope with these kind of podcasts are is it gives you the sense of understanding and control. So you can start modifying your food intake to best match your goals and get more from your life than as like uh, get more from your life in terms of what you want. So you're going to put activity into eating every day. How do we eat best for our goals? So that way you can live a healthy and happy life. That's what I want you to get from these podcasts. So hopefully this helped. And thank you for the listener who uh, sent this in. This was a super fun situation. So they actually let me know that they were a listener that suggested the podcast number 282. So that's awesome. So thank you for chiming in twice. And I'm glad. Uh, I appreciate very much the participation. And I, I hope the podcast are super helpful for everybody. And that this stuff is exciting, fun, helpful, like educational, all the good stuff. Okay. So. If putting together the uh, general concepts to the nitty-gritty personal details is difficult, please always reach out to us. So when I can, I will make a podcast about it if it's kind of a unique situation and something fun everybody else can learn from. If this stuff becomes a little overwhelming, I will sometimes ask uh, for money, <laughs> and I'll write you a personalized one if it doesn't apply well to a podcast. And if anybody listens to this podcast and you like the information, you kind of got most of it together but you need a little help, uh, reach out to us and we'll help you there too. So I would never want to do these podcasts for money. That's not my focus, I promise. And I hope by now uh, listeners have figured that out or find that out or hopefully that's actually been true. So that might be my intent, but hopefully it's actually shown to be true. Um, however, if there's a chance for the gym to make money so it stays in business <laughs> and for us to make money so the podcast can stay active, I'm not going to turn that down. So I hope that through the podcast we give you enough help that you can help yourself and have good control, live a happy life. If you want any more detailed help, or you want any help kind of like clarifying things, then we always, always, always are happy to help. If it's going to take a significant amount of time, an hour's worth of time, we'll ask for some money uh, return. So hopefully it's just giving you a sense, a sense of um, knowledge that you can use for yourself. And then if you need help, you know someone that you feel comfortable and safe reaching out to. So I'm rambling a bit there, but um, I always have a hard time asking for money. That's something i got to work against. So I'm learning to uh, get better at that. But um, there you go. So hopefully this helped. If you have any extra questions on top of this, please reach out, brutalironjim at gmail.com. And remember, if the microphone is helping, please let me know so I don't make a bunch of podcasts uh, and have them be really crappy quality. So if you don't mind, a quick little email uh, is great to hear from you guys and girls. <laughs> cool. Okay, so hopefully to the listener, hopefully this helped. Hopefully it gave you some good direction, gave you some answers. And um, good luck to you. If you have any more questions or you need any more clarification, reach out. Email is brutalironjim at gmail.com. If you like the podcast, please share it with family and friends. The more people we help, the happier the world will be. Also, if you like this information, you can find more from us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, Brutal Iron Jim. And if you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions, we'd love to hear from you. The podcast is for you. So we want to know what you want to learn about. And you can tell us at our email at brutalironjim at gmail.com. As always, I hope this was helpful. And thank you for listening.